G-Day people, this is Sharpino here, bringing you guys an update vlog, I haven't done one in quite a while, but I think it was long overdue, and I think it's time for me just to just talk to you guys, not in the Let's Play, not in the Wi-Fi battle, but just from the camera, from me to you, YouTubers, the viewers, this is for me to you. So first and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who has been watching my videos, Wi-Fi battles, Let's Plays, whatever videos I make, I do want to say that I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Um, you know, uh, things as of late have been really lapsy days. I've been really behind the eight ball, just making uploads by the day. Uh, just trying to make sure that I have enough time to just make videos and all that. So I do appreciate those who do take the time to comment, like the video, share the videos. I do appreciate it. Um, just a couple things I wanted to address. The first thing, and you probably would have noticed this, is that TCG Sundays have been missing and there's been a good reason for that it's because um based off the fact that you know obviously tc box is not you know they're not they're not cheap by any means like i get it from my uh, game store for about 175 from respectively and uh because of work and everything else and just time and everything else i've just decided that i'm just not going to do the tc box i think it's that and it's like i'm not really like getting into tcg like i, I originally thought i was going to like you know, I made a deck and I was going to play some people, but competitive TCG is not really a big thing in Australia. And I think even today and tomorrow, there's a big event happening in Melbourne, but I couldn't attend it uh, due to, like I said, uh, just work and everything else. So, you know, I do apologize if you guys did join the channel because of TCG Sundays, and I hope that you will stick around for other content I have to offer. But in saying that, though, um, in saying that, we're also going to introduce a new segment that will start next week. And I'm calling it uh, Sharpie Knows. So basically, it's going to be a segment. It's going to be a Saturday Sunday segment where I'll do quizzes online. You know, the decks like I did for my 50 subscriber challenge about a year ago, I did the, the Gen One decks challenge. But this time, I'm going to be hitting all the different kinds of quizzes. So be you know, Gen One, Gen Seven uh, types and moves or Pokemon shit and all that. I'll be basically attacking each and every one of those. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Basically, just testing myself mentally on what, everything I know Pokemon. So you know. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the comments section. Now, this is only becoming a, an issue as of late. I think personally, in the in this last week alone. Now, I'm not going to mention any particular viewers or anything else like that because I don't want to embarrass this person or people. Um, basically, I just want to talk about requesting and demanding. Now, I understand when you're a YouTuber, you know, when you're doing Let's Plays, you know, you ask your audience for your opinion. And, you know, your viewers will say, you know, you should do this, you should do that. But it comes to a point where if they keep doing the same request and the same person or, you know, is making the same request and you're not doing exactly what that one person said, it goes from request to a demand. And it really irked me a little bit because it's like, I understand you want to say something, but if I choose not to go in that direction, that's my choice. And if that's what uh, for you breaks it for the channel, then I do apologize if that's the case. But when I do Let's Plays and when I do Wi-Fi battles and everything else, I do things my own way. That's just how I do things with the channel. Now, if I listen to a suggestion and I like the suggestion, I go ahead and do it, that's under my choice. It's not a matter to say, you know, yes, it is a channel I offer to you guys, but I mean, I'm open to suggestions. But if I don't like a suggestion, or I don't choose to go to a suggestion, don't keep hammering the same suggestion, because that irritates me. It, it really does. And like I said, nothing against this person or people that have been making this request, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going to make a request, probably say it once and let it go. If I don't do it and, you know, you don't like it, you just say, you know, why didn't you do this? Or whatever, or even DM me on Twitter or DM me on YouTube as a message or whatever. Just ask me, why don't you want to uh, do what I ask? And I'll explain to you because I don't want to come to a point where either I'm ignoring your comments because you're asking the same thing, or I don't want to tear into you in the comment section because it makes me look like an idiot, and I really don't want to be like that. So I'm smart enough not to know, not to be like, you know, oh fuck that, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not saying that I would do that, but I'm saying to keep myself looking professional, as a YouTuber, I'm just going to try to be as professional as possible when it comes to answering things. Now, I have some fun, you know, like like every YouTuber does, you know, like you know, what the fuck, and you know, they'll, you know, they have a joke, whatever. I I I don't like that. I don't mind that. But when it comes to people being, I would say either trolly or just making some requests, I'm going to say, listen, just not doing it. If I, if you didn't get a response from me, you know that's me ignoring you. 
Uh, now, two shout-outs I'm going to give out to. Number one, I'm going to give a shout-out to my man, The Bird. My man, The Bird, he has really been helping me with the PMC. So I want to give him a big shout-out, a big thank you personally from me to him. I know we're talking, uh, you know, this point and all that, but I really feel like you guys should really just know how much I owe The Bird. The Bird, he does all the Pokemon battle vids and everything else. He did destroy me 5-0 about uh, a week ago, but you know what? You know, he's a very good battle. I can't feel bad losing to him because he's a really good battler and I'm a complete novice when it comes to battling. So, you know, he gives me advice, he gets to run sets and all that. When I make a dumb suggestion, he's like, bro, really? And, you know, he'll help me keep, stay in line when it comes to my battle vids. Uh, another shout I want to give to is uh, Ultra Tom 100. So, um, Ultra Tom 100, he's a, he's a GFX guy. He's been doing uh, some layouts for me. Uh, he's done the layouts for um, the Pokemon Yellow Ultimate Randomizer Nuzlocke. And he's doing um, some more work for me for future Let's Plays. So I just want to personally give uh, you, Tom, a big thank you for the work that you're doing. I, I really like it, and I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to go ahead and check out his uh, GFX, if you want to go ahead and use his works and everything else, uh, I'll, leave you comment, I'll leave his link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and use his work, because his work does really good. Um, his graphics and everything looks amazing. So personally, Tom, just keep up the great work. Um, now, next thing I'm going to talk about is how I'm doing. Well... Personally, I'm doing fine. Like, you know, uh, today I went to the dentist, and actually, no, it was yesterday, because today's Saturday, but I'm doing this video Friday, so it comes to Saturday, so, you know, now you know, break the fourth wall. Um, but I went to get a haircut, get a shave, go to the dentist, and they found a cavity, and I'm like, fuck. But, you know, like, I, I'm really, really trying to be taking care of myself, my face, and everything else, because uh, about six months ago, I went to the dentist, and I really wasn't looking after myself, and. Uh, yeah, let's just say I had to go to the dentist. That's basically what it's come down to. But now, you know, I'm looking after myself now as far as my face. Weight-wise, I'm trying to eat a little bit better and just, you know, try to become a bit more active, which is something I've been telling myself, you know, in the summer I would do once it gets cooler. And now that we're in autumn, I've got no excuse as to why I can't really, you know, get, you know, fit, start doing my walks again like I used to. So it's a, it's a gradual thing that I've eventually come to be. So, you know, if you see a slimmer sharpie, you know, that's good for you guys. Now. Let's play. We did. Let's talk about let's players now. Like I explained in yesterday's episode of the uh, yellow uh, randomized nuzlocke, I'll now be doing only one LP at a time, just because of time constraints and my real life commitments. I really can't afford to do two let's plays at the same time. So, as you guys would have seen, I was doing a moon let's play and then the sun moon let's play at the same time, and then after that, I was doing both prism and uh, uh, and then Yellow was the, the secondary Let's Play. But now, Yellow's gonna become the mainstream Let's Play, and we're gonna pretty much just go back to what we are doing before, which is just one Let's Play at a time. The reason why that is because, like, before, I had a lot more time on my hands, and, you know, I, I wanted to do the Sunshine Lock because it was fun, and it was something I wanted to do alongside the Moon Let's Play, because I know a lot of people don't like just general Let's Plays, which is fine, I've got no problems with that. And, you know, doing a Sunshine Lock, I knew it would kind of, it's something unique, and you guys showed how much you guys liked it, and the views have been absolutely insane on the Sunshine Lock. I actually think it's probably the best views on my Let's Play ever. So, a big thank you to you guys if you guys tune into the Sunshine Lock. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I would definitely recommend hit on the playlist in my channel and you'll find it. It's a really good watch. So, that's what's going to happen now. I've told myself this at the start of, well, pretty much last, I would say towards the end of last year, but this year I want to actually make this the road to 100,000 subs. I'm going to put a hashtag right here. So, there we are, so we got hashtag road to 1000 subs. So as you guys probably would have seen my Twitter, it's got, you know, a counter out of 1000 next to my Twitter name. So basically, I'm trying to make sure and hope, you know, that we can eventually hit 1000 subs by the end of this year. I mean, I really hope we do, because uh, this June will be doing YouTube for about two years, and it's fine. Like, I have no expectations as far as, I mean, but my dream, my end result is to eventually do this full time. Like everyone else, look, look, it's, 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 it's one of them things, it's like, you know, a lot of people put too much time into it, and I personally don't think I do. Like, I, I still do work in real life. I do have my job, and you know, I've got my family commitments and everything else. I like to spend time with my family. I love them dearly. I would die for them because that's how much I love my family. It's not about that, guys. I got a phone call from work, so you know, just work and everything else. You kind of answer the phone. It's about work for tomorrow or today and tomorrow when this video comes out. But, anyways, as I was saying, so basically, what I'm trying to get across to you guys is that I'm dedicated to my real life commitments. YouTube, if anything, I will quit YouTube before I do, you know, anything else with in real life, you know, that would really affect me. But in saying that though, I'm going to give YouTube everything I have to try to make my channel the biggest and best that it can. So I hope you guys can appreciate that and I hope you guys will uh, stay tuned 
and enjoy all the, the free con all the content I am offering to you guys. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, aside from the road to 1,000 subs, is uh, friend codes. Now, you guys have seen the thumbnails. Like, that's the, the friends listing for DS. Why do you want a friend code? Well, my friends, the next let's play I'm going to do involves your friend code. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is to go ahead and leave your friend code down below and a nickname for a Pokemon. So, I'm going to leave my friend code right here. So you can go ahead, I'll leave it here and I'll also leave it in the description of this video. So you go ahead and add me, but I'll also ask you guys for your friend codes and a nickname for a Pokemon. And you just have to wait and see how I'm going to use your friend codes. So don't worry, I'm not going to do anything crazy, I'm not going to hack into your DS or anything else. I'm putting my DS out there, so I mean there's no bugs or anything I know of from spending friend codes. But basically, uh, just like I said, I'll be going through Facebook and Twitter saying leave your friend codes in the description of this video. I'll go ahead and add you, you can add me, that's fine. And the next let's play that I do on this channel after the yellow randomizer of the Nuzlocke finishes, uh, I will go ahead and use this friend code, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next up I want to talk about is the Penta of Highlight Reel. You guys have been blowing it up! Blowing it up on the Penta of Highlight Reel. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, Snappy and the crew, who doesn't love watching all the best moments? You know, there's epic deaths, you know, there's epic, you know, foul moments, there's epic, you know, troll moments, and there's epic laugh moments, you know? Who could really not like that? So, you know, uh, from what's left in the Penta Op for the Uranium Let's Play, there should be about maybe two, three videos left, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are enjoying the Penta Op High Reels. I know I am, and you guys definitely been showing me you guys are enjoying it, so you know what? I'll go along with it. And like I said, just want to, you know, thank each and every one of you for watching this video, each and every one of you who are subscribed to the channel, each and every one of you who watches the comments and the videos, and just all I can say is just to try and spread out the Sharpino name as much as you can, because every bit of help that you can offer me, I appreciate it dearly. I love you guys so much, I would do anything for you guys, and you know, I just want to just show you guys and just give you guys everything I can to make you guys as entertaining as possible so you guys with your free moment can go you know what my name is Sharpen has got some good vids up let's go ahead and watch a let's play watch a video watch a vlog watch a special or whatever so if you guys are new to the channel I will say welcome to the channel and I hope this video has influenced you to hit that subscribe button uh, because as always your support is really appreciated and yeah stay tuned for more videos to come along the way so until next time I see you guys stay safe stay sharp and I'll catch you guys all next time Later.